we're here today with the wonderful Fadilla and we're going to be shooting in Regent's Park which is a beautiful park in central London. I've got my Veronica Zenta ETRS and I'm going to be shooting with some Ektachrome as well as some Provia. But first of all, let's find out a little bit more about Fadilla. Um, tell us a bit more about yourself. Where, how did you get into modelling? Hi guys, so I'm Fadilla. I'm originally from Singapore. Um, I moved to London about five years ago. Um, how I got into modeling was literally by chance. There was a modeling agent um, at the restaurant that I was at. Awesome. Yeah. So how are you feeling about today? What, what do you think we're going to capture in this kind of I'm, sort of space? I'm really excited for today because the weather is great. It's sun's out and I think with the sunlight hitting all the nature that's around us, we're going to have some really nice relaxed type of natural images. Awesome. I'm going to leave a little link for you uh, of the Dilla's uh, IG so make sure you check it out and give her a follow and uh, we're going to get shooting I think. Perfect. Do this light. All right these slide films look amazing once you've had them developed. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we'll be exploring Kodak E100 against Fuji Provia 100F. Both these film stocks were shot on the Bronica Zenza ETRS with my 75mm lens outside using natural light. I'm comparing these film stocks to see the differences in colour, saturation. In terms of pricing in the UK, E100 comes in at £18 a roll, whereas Provia comes in at £10. There's a significant difference in price, so this will be useful for you to consider next time you're going to be shooting with colour slide film. I wanted to try Provia because I know that Fujifilm tends to be more on the warmer side and less contrasty. I've heard that Ektachrome can be more contrasty and have more of a blue tinge to the results. If you haven't checked out my previous video with these film stocks in a studio condition, make sure you check that out at the end. Metering for these films can be a bit tricky. I was using my Siconic L308X as these film stocks tend to have a dynamic range of about three to four stops you need to make sure that you meter correctly otherwise the images won't come out as well this was especially more important when shooting outdoors without guaranteed consistency of light in practical terms outdoors this would mean taking several meter readings one for the highlights and one for the shadows remember for film photography it's super important to make sure the shadows are metered in a particular way because you will not be able to raise or correct these in post as you would with digital cameras Every shot was taken on the same shutter speed and aperture and I even tried to keep framing and posing as identical as humanly possible throughout the shoot. As mentioned before, changing light intensity would be something I would have to carefully consider. As always, I was trying to get the most consistent results as possible. We got a little bit more creative with the shots as the shoot progressed. When shooting colour negative films, I always get a separate contact sheet with my film negatives so I see the images in colour or in black and white. For slide film this is absolutely not necessary as you can see the images in their full glory. Ektachrome and Provia deliver extremely fine grain as well as whiter, brighter whites and an improved tone scale. Both films claim to produce exceptional results for fashion, editorial work, nature, wildlife as well as other commercial applications. They're specifically designed for exposure with daylight or electronic flash. My favourite shot with Provia 100F was with Fadilla Lime Lying on the floor with one hand on her head. The green colour of the grass has been captured with remarkable accuracy along with skin tones and textures of her shirt. The runner up on Provia would be her holding her hands above her head extending her left leg out. My favourite shot on Ektachrome was the one taken from directly above with a scarf on the floor and Fadilla looking directly down the barrel of the camera lens. The eyes have rendered razor sharp. The runner up shot would be of her slightly perched up while seated. The pose and setup of the shot is on point. Overall I think that Provia has rendered more accurate skin tones and textures whilst it's really struggled in the shadows. Ektachrome fared better in the shadows on the other hand although less forgiving with more light available. In fairness it was difficult to make comparisons as the light fluctuated quite a bit throughout the shoot. As always it's a work in progress therefore you gotta keep shooting with this. One of the reasons for shooting in a natural light setting was to help you save time and money before you jumped into the world of slide film photography. Now that you have seen this setup, I hope that you're encouraged to push yourself and dive into shooting these film stocks too. Be sure
sure to check out my studio shoot with these film stock as it will give you a wider understanding of the differences in outcomes. The summer is going to be coming into full swing and I would love to connect or collaborate with you if you're in London. Shoot me a comment and let's set something up. Thank you for watching all my videos. Do go ahead, comment below. Have you shot with the Bronica or similar 6x4 5 cameras or either of these film stocks? I would love to hear your thoughts on it. The shoot itself, the images, have you shot with these film stocks? What were your likes and dislikes about them? What do you recommend that I shoot with next? Or perhaps even a theme that you might have in mind. In the meantime, check out this video. See you on there.